Humes just saw the video of Draymond Green going full Christian Leitner, jumped <laughs> off him like he was Mario after. Well, All right. but here's the thing now. Shams Charanio. Piss some people off. So do you guys think that Draymond Green should be suspended? Because I am not of the mind that Draymond should be suspended. Uh -huh. um, I think that when you look at what Shams uh, tweeted today, and again, if you did not see it, I'm going to I'm going to show you some some photos of it. Yeah. If you look at the way that this played out, okay, like Draymond Green, this looks dirty, right? I think we can all agree that looks really dirty. We, I, I, yeah, I mean, I mean, I would agree. I mean, when I first saw this, you know, and I'm watching this game and I'm all pissed off because the Warriors are. You playing lost your with, mind dude, over I text was message. So pissed last night about this game, like just embarrassed for the Warriors, but but. When I watched that live, I was like, yeah, it did kind of look excessive out of Draymond. And I'm certainly not saying that Saboner over here is innocent, but but Draymond stopped, buddy. Like, I felt like Dr what Draymond did was was put effort into stepping on him. And and that's where I was like, well, but if he hadn't grabbed his leg two nights in a row and like, like I don't know, man, it's so borderline. Now, Shams is, is tweeting today. Um, those around the situation expect a fine for Draymond Green. And if you look at the original tweet, looking unlikely Warriors forward Draymond Green will be suspended for game three versus Kings after stepping on DeMontis Sabonis. When Sabonis was grabbing his leg, those around the situation expect a fine for Green, but he would be available for game three given... Um, but that he will be available for game three, given the ejection, flagrant foul two, and circumstances around the incident with Sabonis. I think my guess is they overreacted with the flagrant two and ejection. Because I don't believe that Draymond Green stomped on his chest. I think if you go back, and I would love to play the video for you, it is copyrighted, we cannot play it. If you go back and look at the situation with, with Dre, he, I mean, he... he DeMontis Sabonis was clearly holding his leg. Uh -huh. There is, there's no doubt about that. Uh -huh. I am certainly no Draymond Green fan, but let's let's keep it be keeps in it real. He did not stomp on DeMontis Sabonis's chest. You look at the fact that Sabonis had both of his arms wrapped around Dre's leg and foot. What else was he supposed to do? And then, of course. Sabonis embellished it. The officials bought into it. They replayed it. He got ejected. <laughs> I think, I think there's no doubt in my mind, Draymond Green should be fined for that. But DeMontis Sabonis carries a significant amount of responsibility for that situation. Yeah, no, I, I agree. And I guess, you know, my the only thing I would say about Draymond is I, I felt like he didn't need to... to Okay, if we don't want to call it stomping, he didn't need to step on him, I guess, or he didn't need to like, he didn't need to use force with his foot, which is what I think ultimately got him the ejection. If it looked like on tape, both live and on replay, that that it was incidental, that hey, he grabbed your leg, right, and and so you didn't have anywhere else to go with your foot, and it just happened to land on Sabonis's body, he wouldn't have been ejected. The problem for Draymond was, is it looked like an intentional act to step down onto Sabonis and it looked like a choice. And that's why I think he got the flagrant two because the flagrant two rules basically stipulate that it has to be unnecessary and excessive force to warrant a flagrant two, which that technically is unnecessary and excessive force. Now he is being instigated and it was two nights in a row. I don't know how many people caught the Malik Monk, uh, Malik Monk thing under the the basket on the baseline, but that happened the, in in game one. It did happen, and I understand why Draymond would be upset about it, especially with the with the fact that he knows the officials standing right there and let it go on. So I get it from Draymond's standpoint, but I agree the guy shouldn't be suspended. They're already getting their ass handed to him by the Kings. Is suspending Draymond would just would just simply end the series quicker, which does not behoove the NBA in any way, shape, or form. No, I would I would agree a hundred percent. And and furthermore, what what my point in in all of this is, David, to answer your question directly, um, I think there is a little bit of this that is just Dre being Dre. I, I do. 
But again, I'm not gonna I am not gonna vilify Draymond Green because DeMontis Sabonis was certainly I'm not gonna say he was at fault for this, but again, what have we seen from DeMontis Sabonis? This is a guy who's constantly on the floor. And here's another situation, whether it is Giannis Antetokounmpo the other night, you you look at a guy like Tyler Hero. When you put yourself on the ground, bad things are going to happen. You cannot, and this is football, basketball. You look at guys that dive into first base in baseball. You put yourself on the ground, you're probably going to get hurt. Yeah. It, it, it exponentially grows the likelihood of your injury yeah. by laying on the ground. And I think this is something that we're seeing across sports now. And I think when you look at Draymond Green um, and you look at this situation, I thought the ejection was the right call at the time. I think right now, I think the suspension is not warranted. And I think, again, uh, if you're just tuning in, uh, Sham Sharania at The Athletic says that Draymond Green is unlikely to be suspended for Game 3 and that he should be available and he will be fined. Yeah. I think a fine is even strong now, having gone back. And, and furthermore, listening to Draymond Green's explanation of that incident, I actually didn't think it was, was bad at all. Yeah, It's like, where do you want me to put my foot? You know, like it, hanging on to Draymond Green's leg when you're laying on the ground. And by the way, I'd remind you, he had nothing to do with DeMontis Sabonis falling down. Yeah, He fell at Draymond's legs and then grabbed Draymond's leg. And listen, had, I, in my opinion, he had nothing to do with why Draymond and the Warriors lost that game. Yeah, I just think I just think Beam Team's better than they are. Yeah, I mean, it's I said I said I think Beam Team, the Beam Team. Oh shit! Yeah, I think the Sacramento Kings are better than the Golden State Warriors right now. Yeah, and it's unfortunate because I feel like I feel like the Warriors don't have anybody going except Steph. But you know, you watch them play offense, and you're like, dude, like. Where's Clay? Where where is Mr. Jordan Poole? Where is anybody? And it's frustrating to watch the Kings double staff constantly and then nobody yeah. else contributes. And it, and it's just it ultimately the end of the end of dynasties always happens. It just it, it's inevitable. It happens. Well, Golden State needs a retool. Well, they do. There's no there's but... no doubt about that. And and it is I I love Kaminga. I don't think Kaminga's the guy you thought he was. No. I, I really don't. Patrick Boren says, wow, an ad during live program. Uh, yeah, like, see, and again, there's a lot of people who don't understand how YouTube works. It really is, and as much as we care about our subscribers, it your subscriber count really is meaningless. Um, we're, we are top whatever it is, five, 1% or 5% of sports streams. I can't remember what YouTube told us a couple of weeks ago. YouTube plays ads on shows where there's a high level of engagement. People watch for an extended amount of time and they're going to serve an ad. That's why you guys see those ads. We do not play those ads. Yeah. That's a hundred percent on YouTube. That's why that happens. Uh, suspend them all, uh, suspend all of them for the fans sake. JK Marshall says, okay, I wish diving was litigated out of the game. I do. I wish that there, they, you could write a rule book, that would eliminate diving altogether. I just think it is. Yeah, it's it, terrible. Yeah, it's absolutely. Yeah, it's crazy to me. 